I believe there is a dis dis distinction between spousal spanking and spousal, you know, abuse. And I just want to show, go ahead and bring up my screen for a moment. I want to show, you know, I'm not like believing something that's even different than the world's opinion on this. Now, I just, I have chat GPT here. You can, you can go there. You can just click start now. It'll pop up. And, and I'm just, I'm doing this live. You can do this right now if you want. Just say, is there a difference between spousal spanking and spousal abuse? Okay, enter. Now again, you might be really triggered by this. So if, if you're already triggered by me even just asking chat GPT, please tune off this podcast. This is an adult section of our show. We don't always do this. I just want you to see what's going on. It says right here, yes, there is a significant difference between spousal spanking and spousal abuse. Now, do you think anybody can accuse me of like hijacking chat GPT and making it a, like my version of Baptist thinking? Or do you think that this is just giving us a general consensus of what the internet It's likely that most people, regardless of religious affiliation, would find that situation problematic or inappropriate. Healthy marriages are typically based on mutual respect, open communication, and shared values. And disciplining a spouse in a manner akin to parenting would likely undermine these principles. Furthermore, such actions could be considered abusive, both emotionally and physically, and might violate the trust and dignity necessary for a strong relationship. It's important for couples to work through disagreements with respect, empathy, and constructive dialogue rather than punitive measures. If you're considering the dynamics of relationships in the context of faith, it might be helpful to consult religious leaders or counselors who can offer guidance aligned with your values. Using physical punishment, especially something as harmful as an electrical cord, is not acceptable under any circumstances. This would clearly constitute abuse, both legally and morally, regardless of religious background. Physical violence or coercion in a relationship is damaging and violates trust, respect, and love, the very foundations of a healthy marriage. If someone is experiencing or considering such behavior, it is essential to seek professional help immediately. Counseling, therapy, or speaking with trusted clergy can provide guidance and support. Abuse should never be tolerated, and everyone deserves to feel safe and respected in their relationship.